what the cost of money is also there. Then hydrology and floods is majorly whatever the disasters is taking place with related to the hydrology. Hydrology is nothing but a water related disasters are more in the stage. And agriculture and horticulture informations are required after the impact analysis. We need to have an agriculture division. Then admin and human resource department is more important. And this is the division for working in the case industry. If you see this, this is the vulnerability of the state. By looking at past and present, this is the vulnerability we classified for the state is concerned. If you see, as I said, if I uh, take a drought condition in the drought situation in the state, almost 80 percent of the geographical area is falling under drought condition. If you see the heavy rains, floods, uh, uh, almost we have taken a 15 years of uh, 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 rainfall data. Other parameters are being taken. Out of that, uh, uh, many uh, years are being uh, declared as a drought affected area. Then, if you see a 20 percent, 22 percent of the geographical area is prone to moderate earthquake zones, where we are uh, uh, even. Uh, the corridor, where the earthquake corridor is, like uh, uh, where Gulbarga, Chicholi, that area, where the northern part of the state uh, is more uh, vulnerable. Not uh, like uh, where the where we are seeing like uh, where the Himalaya region, where uh, Gujarat, uh, where north uh, northeastern states, uh, uh, those states are highly vulnerable areas. Not uh, uh, that much earthquake. Uh, uh, scenario will be seen in the state. Only a magnitude, less magnitude earthquakes are being seen in the Gulbarga, Chinchori, those uh, districts. If you see a part of a, a southern parts of the Bengaluru and then Anekal, where the Chitradurga, these belt, these uh, uh, small tremors, uh, e every year we will see in this uh, scenario. Due to that, only 22% uh, uh, defined, and then 24% of the geographical area is prone to. Cyclone, uh, cyclone and heavy winds because due to the cyclone where the coastal districts are there. Even Bay of Bengal, Arabian Sea, even Hindu, uh, Indian Ocean. If you any cyclones uh, comes, we will uh, uh, we will uh, receive a resource means a resource in the sense cyclones uh, has a resource for the rainfall condition where uh, uh, small drizzling we will see. Then that has a resource we are utilizing this and then. More uh, when the in the Arabian Sea or Bay of Bengal, if any uh, high uh, cyclones uh, if take uh, taken place, then the three districts, coastal districts, where Uttar Kannada, then Dakshina Kannada, would be these districts are more prone towards the cyclone. If any such kind of tsunami activities will take place in the uh, oceans, uh, then at that time these three districts are more prone to, to, towards the uh, <coughs> The landslide only where the uh, hill re hilly regions, where we call it as a Sahihadri, those regions are uh, uh, more prone towards the landslide. Then we are having a 320 kilometer coastal line, this prone uh, uh, towards the sea erosion and the tsunami threats. Then other hail storms, one of the other districts, one of the uh, other taluks, every, in, every year we are seeing the thunderstorm and lightning activity due to that. Uh, uh, human lives and then animals, uh, loss of uh, this uh, things we are seeing due to the health storm, even crop damage also okay, will be taken place due to the health storm activities. Then thunderstorm, cloud bursting, lighting, these are the disasters are being classified for the state is concerned. And then if you see the uh, drought frequency map, see the state, entire state is why we are relating to the Rajasthan. Is a Rajasthan when uh, the rainfall, if you see the rainfall pattern for the uh, uh, in a country, Rajasthan state uh, receives less than 500 millimeter. They are more resilient. They know that uh, we will receive less rainfall. Then also, the Karnataka, yesterday I was telling about the rainfall pattern for the state is concerned. Even we are receiving a, uh, more than 5,000 millimeter of rainfall. Even though also our state is falling under a drought condition. Due to that improper management of a resource, water resource in the state. Due to that, but because of climate change also, we are more uh, uh, impacting on the agriculture pattern or 
uh, onset of monsoon, delay in the onset of monsoon, then uh, withdraw, uh, whatever the withdrawal of the monsoon also is delay in taking place. For the present situation, whatever the northeast monsoon, <coughs> we have uh, the northeast monsoon, now we are in the northeast monsoon season. The northeast monsoon, uh, the delayed by 20 days, 20, 24 days uh, delayed uh, the onset of even southwest monsoon also delayed by 24 days. Like that, the uh, climate change impact is we are seeing the delay in the monsoon. If the delay uh, one uh, one week or two week delay in the monsoon, the agriculture activities will be postponed. Due to that, the yield, whatever the uh, practices, agri uh, agriculture practices will get delayed. Due to that, when the germination time, when the harvesting time, there is no rainfall uh, during the uh, agriculture sector. That will be the practices. We need to uh, uh, adopt whatever the climate change impact, uh, uh, we need to adopt based on that uh, the practices can be uh, followed. If you see this, this is another vulnerability of the state. See, if you see the drought condition, the climate change impact analysis has been carried out for the state, where the north interior Karnataka is com coming, falling under very severe drought condition. If you see the uh, la last 60 years data we have taken to uh, uh, analyze this information, means how the climate change impact or how the rainfall pattern is changing uh, day by day over the uh, three decades. In the past, uh, last three decades and present three decades we have compared uh, where the heavy rainfall is uh, 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 taking, uh, means coming low and then uh, uh, moderate rainfall zone and then drought situation where it is increasing, that the analysis is been carried out. Based on that, the publications also we have made. This analysis is nothing but the uh, DVA uh, drought index has been calculated, and this publication is downloaded from our website. If you go through this, the climate change impact on the rainfall pattern, as well the uh, agriculture sector, how it is impacted, that can be seen. If you see the uh, drought affected area, over the past uh, years, uh, if you look uh, last 20 years, the drought has been declared in the state. If you see almost where the as uh, rainfall pattern I have said yesterday I have shown, where the 750 millimeter of annual rainfall, where the zones are there, in that zones, uh, all the districts have been uh, drought uh, classified or declared as a more than 13 years. Out of 20 years, 13 to 14 years, the drought has been declared in the state. Uh, if you see the flood prone, yesterday I explained about the flood prone and uh, river and flood and urban flood also. Then uh, this is of earthquake prone areas. If you see this, see uh, the state is falling under zone 2 and zone 3. Is less vulnerable uh, zones. Only where the districts are there. These coastal districts as well uh, the northern part of the districts is uh, uh, when compared to the other states, it is uh, moderate from this area. This, whatever the uh, blue color area districts we are seeing here, this is a less uh, earthquake prone areas. If you see the cyclone and wind affected area, only the coastal, then as well with the Bidar and uh, the other uh, Kalburgi, Rachur, this you see the districts falling under uh, moderate to light to moderate uh, like uh, cyclone prone areas. That is a landslide zonations are being made. We have uh, classified the vulnerability zonations are being classified based on the past present data. The landslide zonation only the hilly areas can be seen. If you see the drought and cyclone, other disasters, how uh, when uh, out of uh, 20 or 15 years of uh, data, see drought has been even uh, uh, one corner of the state falling under a drought and another corner of the state is falling under flood affected area. Even lightning, thunderstorm, hailstorm, all the activities, all the disasters will be seen in, uh, uh, in the state. If you see, out of 20 years, almost uh, 14 to 15 years have been declared as a drought affected as well as flood also, hailstorm, and so These many years have been declared as a flood affected. Then, uh, for that, whatever the, uh, uh, zonations have been classified. We need to have a weather monitoring and forecasting system. We, we should have a strong monitoring system and then we should have a 
proper weather forecast data information is required, then monsoon preparedness is very important, then whatever the heat waves, uh, based on the weather parameters, where exactly the temperature is increasing, what is the uh, uh, deviation from the normal, how much is increasing, what is the impact for the heat wave, what are the precautionary measures can be taken, what should be adopted, then lighting and uh, what is the lightning mitigation measures, then disaster uh, uh, designation services. These should be a stronger when we are looking towards the disaster management and monitoring in the state. For that, uh, uh, the state has installed uh, TRG stations, then water level sensors, weather sensors, almost uh, yesterday I was explaining about the TRG rain gauge station. Every panchayat has a rain gauge station. Where these rain gauge stations working with the solar power, we will visit in our campus, we have, uh, we have model there. We will see how the working, uh, the TRG is working and weather station, how we are data getting. And this is the numbers, 6,500 telemetry rain gauges, then telemetry weather mapping sensors at Hobley level, then lightning and thunder, uh, thunderstorm uh, sensors are there, then seismic monitoring station, then water level sensors, then reservoir level uh, uh, stream gauges as well, water level sensors. So this, this is the network which we are uh, uh, established in the state. Uh, they, uh, the density, if you see the density of the uh, network, uh, nowhere in the country will be seen this much density which we are pointing towards the disaster. Now, this is the nodal center for the other states where, uh, where the more disaster prone areas like Uttarakhand, Uttar Pradesh, then Bihar, even Tamil Nadu, then Kerala, where the coastal uh, states are there, even Maharashtra also. Uh, they are visited our center. For, from the entire country, uh, where the case uh, disaster management authorities are there, they are visiting our center in the same whatever the modeling we are doing, the model. As a model, our center, we are helping to the other state, uh, state also. And you see, this, this is the density of the rain gauge station. Nowhere, as I said, nowhere in the country this much density are being seen. Uh, up each rain gauge station uh, uh, we have placed as a 25 square kilometer grid each rain gauge station covers as well if you see the uh, red dots in, in uh, that map that's a weather monitoring station that will be 250 square kilometer each uh, uh, weather sensor we have placed there. and uh, uh, the density then water level sensors if you see uh, this is the uh, level of information we are getting up to Gram Panchayati level. Uh, where the IMD? IMD only getting a, where the Taluka headquarters are there. From the Taluka headquarters, they are getting the information. But our station is uh, in a Belgavi district. There are 11, uh, 11 uh, Talukas are there. Only 11 stations data they will get. But our TRG is more than 500 stations are there. Like that, we are getting the, uh, uh, like that. 25 square kilometer grid rainfall data This is a working a working uh, mechanism. It's a working principle uh, for the TRG. This is a tipping bucket system. We'll see in the uh, where the in our campus. And then this is a, a bucket. When the bucket fills, automatically it uh, uh, records a 0.5 millimeter of uh, rainfall and go on accumulating the rainfall. Then we will see the 15 minutes interval. As soon as 15 minute crosses the, uh, through GPRS, we will get the information from the rain gauge as well the weather station. And this is how the TRG is. These are all the components of the TRG. And then that corner is a TWS station. This is the component of the uh, weather monitoring stations. Then this is a water level sensor, and then uh, where uh, the data logger is there, what is the, where uh, water level sensor, even IP cameras also we have placed to monitor real time, then solar panel. This is the components of the water level sensor. And this is the data collection, collection and the analysis of a report generation. If you see, as soon as the, we will get the data through GPRS, through our server, the automatically the GIS applications are built for every applications. It's nothing but a, for a drought is concerned, a different applications we need to have. As a flood is concerned, we should have a different applications. 
these are all automized. As soon as data receives, automatically the reports will generate. Then the alerts are being generated. And then this information will be disseminated automatically towards the uh, last mail connectivity. Like that, the GIS and the remote sensing plays a major role towards the disaster management. And whatever the maps are generated, tables, graphs, whatever you want to uh, have a templates. Based on that, we can impl uh, implement the applications. Then, why we need a rain gauge station more? <coughs> this is an example, good example if you have placed here. If you see a taluka has a goal, having a one rain gauge station, if you see that this is falling under a very light rain, means here 14 mm a rainfall has received if you see a taluka as a whole. If you see a Gobli level, Gobli headquarter, Gobli, uh, if you see the Gobli headquarter, in this taluka there are four Goblis are there. If you see the rainfall variability in the, in the same taluka, if you look towards the Gobli level, See, two hoblies are received moderate rainfall, then two hoblies are falling under light, very light rainfall. If you see the gram panchayati level, see the variability. <coughs> Due to that, we need to have a, this, uh, uh, the information. Means gram panchayati level, even village level also, there will be a variability. But you have stick on up to gram panchayati level. See here, this patch has received a very heavy rainfall. Other areas, if you see the pattern, that's why we should have a proper uh, monitoring station up to high resolution. We'll get high resolution. The deviation from the normal, if you see the deviation from the normal, uh, what is the normal? We call it as a normal rainfall. Okay, normal rainfall will be ca uh, calculated based on the historical data. Okay, uh, by taking a 50 years data, if you do an average for the 50 years, we know the normal. Suppose, for the month of November, there should be a normal rainfall. Then what is actually reported? Absurd rainfall. When compared to the normal, what is the deviation? That we call is a deviation of rainfall. Then if it is the deviation rainfall is more than normal, that we call it as excess. If uh, uh, below normal, that is a deficient rainfall. That is how we have analyzed it in the rainfall pattern. If you see that state as a whole, we are giving information district level, taluka level, then hopefully level, then gram panchayat level. What is the, where exactly, where the, uh, uh, what uh, means deviation rainfall is more, where is less, that easily we can point out the things. Then, maintenance. We are saying these many sensors we have placed for the state. If you are not properly maintained, Installation giving, a, uh, uh, providing a, uh, means installation and all those things that uh, uh, one shot we can do it. But where is maintenance part is very difficult. These are all the uh, electronic gadgets. If you are not properly maintained, there is no data will be received from the sensors. For that we need to have a protocol that every station having an AMC condition. If they once installed uh, for the next five years, we are giving an EMC. Then expert committee members should be there in the uh, any tender evaluation, any uh, the like IMD. IMD is the noodle center for the inter uh, rainfall or weather monitoring. Their standards we need to maintain. For that we need to have an expert committee. Then tender evaluation committee should be there. Then inter departmental group should be made. Then annual maintenance should be there and uh, frequent field visit should be there. For a each, we are having a, for a each district, uh, one uh, 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 engineer we have placed. Apart from that, uh, for the field also, where the Gram Panchayati, who are working there as a do, uh, D group uh, employee, we, have, uh, we are giving some annual re uh, remuneration, uh, 2,400 rupees uh, per body. He'll only look towards the, whether a rain gas station is there or not, uh, what is the condition, if any leaves are fall down in the uh, data, uh, what is the uh, rainfall collector, he will go and every day he will visit the GP, then uh, apart from that he will clean the panel, solar panel, these activities he will take care of. Due to that, uh, he will get the good quality of the 
data, then ca calibration. Every month we are give, 